Hey everybody, good morning, very good morning. Uh, today we are just going to set up uh, system and application monitoring. One of the main component of uh, system and application monitoring uh, of uh, Solution Manager 7.2, where we get, where we're going to just uh, you know uh, uh, set up and uh, troubleshoot uh, HANA BI monitoring. So we are going to uh, you know uh, set up uh, UI. Uh, related include uh, you are related uh, alerts in box where we have to navigate and uh, na navigate the actions for end user experience what actually end user experience does before I start this uh, end user HANA and all system monitoring uh, for this video I just want to say that uh, uh, what actually solution managers SAP solution manager does it's uh, because it's a uh, Centralized tool where we can we can just monitor uh, SAP landscapes. It's uh, it's all about to uh, you know uh, collect, analyze, and uh, monitor your SAP services, uh, your SAP landscapes. You have uh, 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 if you if just you want to run your SAP uh, smoothly, uh, then you anyhow uh, you have to use the solution manager uh, for for this uh, delivery. Solution Manager does a uh, lot of things for us in SAP. We just uh, uh, we, we just mo not only monitor our SAP landscapes. We uh, connect uh, landscapes, uh, different landscapes, and we uh, perform different uh, functionalities in uh, through the form uh, you know of uh, change management, ID service management, and uh, custom code management, uh, business process setup. We have different functionalities in Solution Manager. Uh, we have different uh, versions. We had uh, 7.0, we had uh, 7.1, and now it is 7.2, which is uh, very much, uh, you know, uh, upgraded uh, version. Uh, we very much means uh, like uh, very much in the sense uh, where we have different kind of uh, uh, different kind of uh, challenges in today's SAP business. The upgraded version does. Uh, very, uh, you know, uh, upgraded version uh, does a convenient job for us to monitor SAP landscapes differently through the help of Solution Manager. Like as I said, with the Fury app, we uh, we j we not only have uh, we we not we're not only having uh, uh, simplified uh, you know uh, processes uh, you know, processes on dashboard. We have. Uh, uh, we have, uh, we, we have different kind of uh, you know chart views, pie views, and all uh, reporting uh, available uh, through Solution Manager 7.21 uh, on uh, Fiori app uh, through work centers. We can just go ahead and uh, check all this uh, these functionalities. Let me start with this uh, system and application monitoring. System and application monitoring, where we uh, can configure uh, system monitoring with uh, uh, Solution Manager 7, uh, Solution Manager 7.2 through uh, transaction Solomon Moscow setup, where we have application monitoring, where we can configure uh, system monitoring, and uh, then we need to configure uh, all. Uh, you know, we need to activate, configure all the tabs on uh, application monitoring through system monitoring tab. Where we need a diagnostic agent to uh, to get to report the data to solution manager because uh, that you know, diagnostic data uh, diagnostics uh, agent is very much important to report the data from a satellite system to the centralized solution manager. So it reports data from uh, it, it connects your uh, satellite system to solution manager and then reports data to the dashboard. So. Uh, what we do is we, we just have to configure our uh, satellite system as a managed system first. Uh, we need to just assign a diagnostic agent, and diagnostic agent should be installed physically on the satellite system. So here, here we can uh, just analyze, uh, you know, our. Uh, uh, our incidents, or we can just analyze. We can just have a look for uh, errors. You can see there one alert is there. Error is there. 
and after after just uh, you know uh, going to the system after selecting the system you will see all uh, system related alerts database related alerts host related alerts and the bi monitoring alerts uh, you know uh, it really, it, what we have currently here is the s4 hana system where uh, we are just uh, uh, analyzing our errors here what actually errors how er er errors have uh, you know uh, okay what is this uh, what is the uh, main cause for errors here and how uh, how uh, we can just uh, you know uh, get the best resolution for our alerts so we can do everything here we can create incidents and in, uh, like we can just create incidents by on this alert a particular alert and we can just assign that incident to the particular team so that's the big advantage of this uh, solution having the solution manager 7.2 Uh, just we're uh, just going through this alert in box here and now uh, you can see here uh, after uh, after selecting the system on uh, system monitoring tab we can just uh, go ahead and uh, check one by one display and then guided procedures edit it Uh, this is all about what we see is here that uh, to root the alert to the particular team here we have uh, different uh, teams working here where we can just uh, just root the uh, root this incident to the particular team that means uh, we can send this through uh, cell phone we can just send this uh, alert uh, through uh, sms we can just through send this alert through email as well so all the options are here So I just selected the alerts and now I'm going to, we, we, we've just got the alert on uh, process chain here. So job monitor is uh, just, this is uh, custom based, we have just created a custom based, uh, you know, alerts already are under those, uh, all, all alerts are under those uh, chain, all under that chain, chain management where we have selected this. So I'm going to okay. All right. Now let me kill. Let me go to this. Oh, let me open this one and confirm this one. All right. And we can just add anything, uh, comments, whatever we have the classification, and then click on. all about uh, HANA BI uh, UI navigation uh, analysis where we need wh where we can just select uh, you know uh, we can just check and select our alerts we can enroute them we can create an incident for them like uh, as I said we have an incident management uh, that's the that that's going to be uh, another uh, another session incident complete incident management I'm going to take it complete incident management session here because ITSM is a part of uh, uh, solution manager and uh, it's called a lifeline of solution manager so what we see is here is just the navigation and the analysis of the monitoring for HANA BI through solution manager and as I said what we do is that we just report this diagnostic agents report data to a uh, solution manager through a uh, solution manager and it should be physically available for this uh, uh, satellite system so again i say the people who don't belong to the sap and who don't know about the solution manager is that that we use this tool to monitor our sap landscapes we use this tool 
to change to change to uh, transfer objects to transfer changes uh, through the help of uh, change management and uh, with the help of transports and a lot of, lot of things we have uh, to cover in uh, in next uh, coming sessions so it will be helpful for the people who don't have an experience in uh, you know solution manager or in sap so i'm going to cover all these things here so this was all about today's video i hope you enjoy this thank you